Assalamu alaikum, teacher Huda and friends. Today I'll be sharing with you information about the parts of the plant and their functions. Let me show you the parts of the plant by using this picture. Let us start with the function of the roots. There are two functions of the roots. First, it absorbs water and mineral salts. Second, it anchors the, plant, the whole plant into the ground. So, in case there is strong wind, the, the plant will not topple. Next, let's look at the function of the stem. The stem supports the plant and transport water and food to the various parts of the plant. There are two types of stem, the strong and the weak. The strong, the strong stem is like the one in the tomato plant. It grows upright. The weak stem grows on the ground and when it finds a plant, it will creep up to get more sunlight. Next, let us look at the function of the leaf. The leaf traps sunlight to make food and promotes gaseous exchange. This is a picture of a tomato leaf. The surface of the leaves contains chlorophyll that absorbs sunlight to, make, to help make food for the plant in the process called photosynthesis. At the back of the leaf, there are tiny openings called stomata. These tiny openings help the plant to breathe and exchange gases, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Last, let us take a look at the function of the flower and the fruit. We will learn more about this in the next two years. Let us take a peek to see their functions. Both the flower and the fruit plays a part in the reproduction of new plants. This is what happens in the reproduction of plants. This is a picture of a tomato flower. In the center here, it contains a substance called pollen. We will learn more about that in the next video. As the plant grows, these petals will drop. And this center part here will become a fruit. Let us see what's inside the fruit. Can you see the little seeds inside? These are the seeds that will grow into a new tomato plant. Hope you have learned something new about plants. See you next time.